Uh, good afternoon. This is Freeman Sullivan. We're down here at Frank Ogawa Plaza, Oscar Grant Plaza here in downtown Oakland for the Can You See Me Interface Procession, uh, honoring um, all the people that have been killed by the cops over the last year and longer, as well as honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. with 96 hours of protest uh, going on from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And that's uh, we're out here. Uh, do log on to the chat. And uh, the demonstration should begin shortly. people are showing up. I don't mind if, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, they murdered uh, the 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 say in Oakland. Uh, seven people were murdered by the police in the last year. Uh, three in San Francisco. Uh, most recently, Mario Woods. Um, and his case is particularly egregious because it was all caught on on video when it happened, and uh, it was clear that he was not threatening the police really in any manner. So uh, that's one of the reasons why we're out here. Uh, uh, hello, everybody just joining us. We're out here in the Oakland City Hall uh, at the uh, Interfaith Procession. Uh, can you see me? Uh, hashtag Can you see me? This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. And uh, we're getting ready. We're honoring. Uh, People have been murdered by the police. This is uh, also in honor of 96 hours of protest commemorating Martin Luther King Jr.'s uh, day um, starting today. Tomorrow will be in Diamond, which is another part of Oakland, uh, in the morning at Mayor Schaap's, Libby Schaap's house. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get up and get down there. That'll start at 8.45 a.m. Uh, live stream will be starting at 9. Uh, then there's an action at the airport, Oakland International Airport. Uh, that'll be happening between 4 and 6 p.m., I believe. Uh, check Facebook for more information. I wish I had a URL for you.
and we're going to be here for a little while. Uh, there'll be a march here in about half an hour. For those of you just joining us, we're down here at the Oakland City Hall. At the Can, Can You See Me Interfaith Procession and a memorial for those killed by the police. And actually here in the Bay Area, uh, we have two of the top cities in uh, murder rates by the police, Oakland and San Francisco. So uh, that's why we're out here. We got a crowd numbering here, I guess about maybe a hundred. And more people are starting to show up uh, from the holiday weekend. We're hoping you're having a great holiday, a great Martin Luther King, King Day holiday weekend. And uh, just keep following Freeman Sullivan, and I'll be uh, doing more live streams of other actions all weekend long. Uh, most likely tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. at Mayor Libby Schaff's house. So do join us for that. And uh, let's see. Let me know in the chat how the video and the audio is working out. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, again, this is part of the 96 hours of protests for this weekend honoring Martin Luther King Jr. We'll take a walk around here in just a second. And uh, I'll show you some of these. There's, uh, let's see, three, six, there's ten caskets for uh, signifying the uh, ten people that have been murdered in Oakland, seven for Oakland, and three from San Francisco that were killed by the police. So right now people are paying their respects. And we'll try not to be too obtrusive. And uh, on this. We're going to try and uh, restrict the commentary uh, in respect for those. Uh, this is a memorial service, interfaith procession. And welcome to everybody watching. Beautiful day here in Oakland. Oh, sunny, 60 degrees. And if you have any questions for me or anything you'd like to know or please and let me know how the audio visual is, please log on to the chat. I very much appreciate it.
Hey, thank you, Michael. Appreciate that. Yeah, just hang loose here. There's not a whole lot going on. People are paying their respects. Uh, there's 10 people that were murdered here in the Bay Area by police. And there was one in Emeryville. I don't know if that was this year or not, but Yvette Henderson was killed at the uh, uh, shopping center uh, in, in Emeryville. <laughs> it's another person that comes to mind. The list is endless. And then the first thing that the police say is that, well, we need tasers. Well, no, that's not a way of de-escalation. Police need to learn how to de-escalate uh, these things because first thing they do is pull out their guns and start shooting. So we have a, you know, a situation, and not just here in the Bay Area, but around the country, where we have a uh, trigger-happy police force um, who are not taught uh, media, you know, conflict resolution and other than using firearms. And that's, you know, because the only thing that matters to the police are the police lives and not the people that they're dealing with. So don't, you know, it's don't ever trust the police. That's the best advice I could give you. So thanks a lot for joining us. And uh, if you want to find out more of what's going on, uh, there's a lot of events on Facebook. Uh, 96 hours of Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, if you search for that, you should come up with all the events that are happening here in the Bay Area. Uh, the hashtag for this event is, uh, let's check it out. Uh, it's Can You See Me. So, and that's for uh, people that, again, murdered by police here in San Francisco and Oakland and Emory. And also yesterday there was an incident, or the day before yesterday. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's uh, Can You See Me Interfaith Procession in Remembrance of Black Lives. And just do a... Oh, yeah, well, the URL's too long and complicated for people to... To, for me to say it, for people to get it right, right. Just go. Can you see me? Um, and that should be enough to get you uh, some links on Facebook and uh, for this event and for a bunch of other events that are going on right now. And these are happening. There was an, uh, not just here in Oakland, but all around the Bay Area. Um, there was one in San Francisco, which is actually happening simultaneously uh, for the homeless, which is a major issue in San Francisco. And around the country, of course. Here from the most radical city in the United States. What's the most radical city in the United States? Oakland, California. We can boast a little bit. Beautiful day. We got more and more people are showing up. I expect a crowd of about 200 people. Oh yeah, I guess I guess I could read this. Uh, let me give you a little more background information about what's going on. Uh, my friend Manny here just passed me a phone. Uh, the newly emerging interfaith committee in solidarity with Black Lives Matter Bay Area. Excuse me, the guy walking in front of the camera. Uh, is hosting a vigil in candlelight funeral possession on the Friday afternoon preceding Martin Luther King Day Jr. weekend. This action will call on Oakland City officials and residents alike to see, connect with, and mourn the black and brown lives lost to police violence, as well as the losses borne by communities of color in Oakland as a result of over policing, displacement, and gentrification. It will also put City Hall on notice that they can expect continued continue pressure from Oakland's faith community to prioritize black and brown lives by reallocating money towards affordable housing and alternatives to over-policing. Uh, our schedule here is we're going to have reflective time at 4 p.m. And then 4.30 we'll have a short program with spoken word. And then 5 we're going to be leaving on a funeral possession. And this action is a response to call out for 96 hours of direct action uh, to reclaim King's radical legacy. Thanks. Okay, yeah, we have some more information here. Let's give it a second here. 
So yes, Monday uh, there's going to we're going to be regathering here. Pull this up for you, and that'll be happening on Monday. If y'all can see that or not, that's at 11 a.m. That's right here. Uh, hopefully, if I'm feeling up to it, I'm going to try and make that. You know, more you guys, as you guys know, people know that follow me regularly. You know, I am disabled, so sometimes, you know, the way I physically feel, you know, has more to do with it than my actual expertise and coverage. You know, sometimes my my body just doesn't want to cooperate. So we're gonna take a walk around and look at the cat, the, the caskets that are out here. All right, I'm not going anywhere, so. Pardon me. This is Alex Nieto, uh, killed by police in San Francisco. 28 years old, beloved son of Mario Woods. Together, and we sit. It literally means sitting. Emma Lopez. Very often. She never likes to use it. Richard Linyard. We have it unmarked. Casket. Yvette Henderson, who I mentioned a little bit earlier. And she's the lone woman on this unfortunate. Nate Wilkes, another person murdered in Oakland. Richard Perkins, killed by Oakland police on November 15th. And Demoria Hogg, who was killed by Oakland police on June 6, 2015. There we go. Clark, uh, Freeman Sullivan. Okay, yeah, I've seen your stuff, so I'll make sure I watch it. Okay. Yeah, when I get home. Thanks. Not as good, though. Pardon? Then I won't be a live stream. Well, you know. Thanks. You'll get other perspectives that I'm unable to get. Oh, that's okay. I'm not in any rush. Miss Bang. <laughs>
Martin Luther King. Amen. Now 
I'm gonna call the prayer and call the life. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar, Allah! أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد أشهد أن محمد رسول الله هيا Thank you all for responding to the call. We thank you all for being here in solidarity with each other. We thank you all for being the voice for the voiceless. Thank you all for walking for those who no longer can walk. We thank you, all of y'all who are standing here in the presence of the divine. And all of those who are standing here ready to march and walk in solidarity together, I say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you. And this shall not be the last time that we walk, we march and we walk. When everybody is walking together, those who can no longer walk are walking with us. So let us remember them. Let us remember them. Remember every part of them today. And we say Amen. Amen. You have to press that little red button. Yes. Thank you, brother. Welcome, everyone. Before we begin our opening prayer, I would like to invite you to take a look around. You are here today on Martin Luther King's birthday. In the spirit of his legacy, to see the divinity of everyone, including our black and brown brothers and sisters. You are here today because of our most vulnerable brothers and sisters are in a housing, economic, and health crisis, which equates to gentrification. You are here today because Oakland ranks third 
and police shootings. You are here today because our city mayor and leaders have decided to spend more money on where it needs it most, our people. You are here today because you can see the God in each and every one. Yes. Yes. And for that, I give thanks. Yes. Amen. Thank you for coming. God us, hold our grave, Jehovah, as we pilgrim through this barren land. I am weak, but thou art my tail. Oh, Mother, Father God, I come to you in deep gratitude for your presence, your grace, and the ways that you love us. I do not come to you to ask for your blessing as I feel the presence of your Holy Spirit. And in that presence, we receive the blessing of your grace, your mercy, and your power. Thank you for this. Thank you for these people. May our gathering in your name be as you have ordained it to be. Please use us, God. Please use this, God, to transform us, to transform our lives, yes. to transform this city, to co-create a new world where there is new life and new freedom for us all. Yes. Guide us to freedom. Yes. We will embrace the divinity of black people. So I know and declare that today, this is a prayer. It is a manifesto of a loving social justice. This public declaration shall cleanse the church, our city, our nation of its distorting past and its current oppressive policies. I declare that this is no mighty and powerful God who works through us and for us to eradicate gentrification, militarization, and criminalization. I declare an inherent God given right to live free from white supremacy, privilege, and power. Yes, yes. We embrace this day, we rejoice in this day, and we celebrate the world we want to live in. We will embrace the divinity of black freedom. Yes. Mother, Father, God, we live up to you, those who have come before us, those on whose shoulders we stand, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, on his birthday, we thank you for him and his contribution to this world. Yes. God, may we do the work required to live into the true radical legacy and challenge to change that he left for us. Mm -hmm. God, we recognize and acknowledge and pray for the souls of every freedom fighter, every runaway slave, every abolitionist, yes. the crusaders for civil rights, the people fighting for justice in the streets. Ancestors, we learn from you. Yes. We follow in your footsteps. Yes. We will embrace the divinity of black struggle. Yes. So today, we speak the names of some of those lives lost to police-involved shootings. Richard Perkins, Mario Woods, Yvette Henderson, Amakar Lopez, Alex Nieto, Imore Hogue, Richard Linyard, Nate Wilkes, Jonas Alejandro. I invite you to speak the names and this sacred ground for others. Shane Evans. Ashe. Tamir Rice. Ashe. Alan Bluford. Ashe. Andy Lopez. Ashe. O'Shane Evans. Ashe. Oscar Grant. Ashe. Emmett Till. Ashe. Freddie Gray. Ashe. Martin Luther King Jr. Ashe. Eric Garner. Ashe. Raul Miller. 
of stolen lives. Mother, Father, God, we lift up to you all black people today, God. You know our suffering and our pain. There is a war being waged against us. We need you, God. We are being displaced by capitalism and greed. We need you, God. Yes. We are being killed in the streets by those sworn to protect us all. Yes. We need you, God. Yes. We need you, God. We are being asked to live in a world where the divinity of black life is not seen or acknowledged. We need you, God. We are being criminalized, profiled, and incarcerated yes. and killed. We need you, God. We will hear the cries of black pain and grief. We who believe in freedom will not, rest. shall not rest until it comes. Today, we can no longer live the lives of systemic oppression that looks like gentrification, smells like microaggression, mm. feels like we can no longer breathe in this world. Today, we claim our homes, our streets, our lake, our neighborhoods, our city, our lives. As a descendant of a living one, I prophesy and declare that I claim our freedom from oppression, racism, gentrification, which separates us from each other. We will honor divinity in black life. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for being my light in the darkness. Thank you for your power to transform people and nations. Thank you, God, for the movement of your people. Thank you, God, for the people gathered. Thank you, God, for opportunities to praise you and to pray to you. Thank you, God, for infusing us with your Holy yes. Spirit and power and love and grace that we may fight against the war yes. on black life. Thank you, God, for our very souls. We give thanks for the divinity in black life. Ashe. Amen. 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 And so it, is. so it is. So we will now have spoken words. And so I want to invite Steph to start us off. Uh, we'll see. 
Well, I'm in charge of hauling some of the stuff in the van. They're going to carry the coffees and the candles, but uh, I do have a seat if you... Okay, thanks. I'll keep you in mind. Yeah, now her. They're going to leave around 5. I need to pick her van up at 5 before it gets a ticket because this meter's going to run out at 5. But I'll swing. You right here? I'll tell you what, I'll come down Broadway. Come up here. And pause. We must do of making mistakes, it's not fair, it's not realistic, it hurts, it's hard, it will make your body ache, and at times it will terrify you and steal the joy from your soul and the breath from your bones. But the truth is, if you make mistakes, when you make mistakes, don't ever let them see, because those mistakes will mean your demise, our demise. But those mistakes, they mean that you are learning. They mean that you are breaking free. They are the evidence of your shine. And they will hate the fact that you shine. Hate you for thinking, hate you for feeling, hate you for challenging the economy of oppression. So promise me, do everything within your power to always protect that shimmer, that tiny amazingness, that brilliance, that bubbles beneath the surface of your flesh. Never be silent because our silences you know they won't save us. But promise mommy 
Please promise, Mommy. No mistakes. Only focus, intention, and a determination to thrive. You are a black woman. You are the strongest and most vulnerable here. You are none of those things that they will tell you that you will inevitably become. You are brilliant and amazing. Shine. In love and solidarity, wishing you love and sending you life, Mommy. Testing. Is this loud enough? Yeah! Yeah! All right. <laughs> okay. Dissonant dissonance must be tossed to the lions. The roar of our voices too much to bear. Been stripped bare long before birth. Yet we continue to rise. Sing your jackals, your vultures, your scavengers, your feds, your alphabet boys, your secret thought police. Shoot your bullets, your tear gas, drop your bombs, rape our lands, we are and still will be here, fighting, rising, assuming our throne. The time is now, the next moment too late. The time is now, make haste. Be the being you always wanted to be today. The time is now. Rise up, angels, beings of light, me humble masses, rise up. The time is now for the taking. Now is the time to reap the rewards of your labor, of your ancestors' labor. Your ancestral wisdom is off the charts. Tap into the spark within. Burn bright after integrating your shadow in the void. The inner voice you trust is the inner voice you follow. Obstacles are meant to be overcome. We rise up. No matter what circumstances, conditions, impediments, programming, bondage, we rise up no matter what. Watch us rise. See the spectacle of beings spreading their wings for the first time. Witness the joy flight brings to the human spirit. Prayers for that long for freedom have been answered. Rise up with us. We all gonna make it. If we must take you by the hand, then we must. But you must ask, you must seek, you must take the oath to be the best version of yourself. Every moment be better than the previous. Spiral upward with us, the time is now. Gather together and call the name. Son, father, grandfather, uncle, and brother. Gather together and call the name. Daughter, mother, grandmother, aunt, and sister. Look for all the same differences in our bodies. Lips that we know are full with kiss. Noses that we know swell with shine. Foreheads that soak sun and reflect moon. Hair that naps tight with curl. Be told we are sons and daughters from a long line of sons and daughters. We who have been taught to forget are remembering our own tonight. And we will tell and retell our stories and our histories. And it looks like you. It's brown and it's browner. It smell like you. It's earth and it's musk. It's strong like you, it's backs and it's shoulders. It's soft like you, it's hold and it's stroke. It sounds like you, it's drums and it's jazz. Do you hear it tonight? Wow. And the song that sway to, the song that makes you close your eyes, shake your head and slow nose and beg to have your burdens lifted too. Yes. It's the song that lulled the baby on the hip, that saved the captured on the ship. It's a song that said tonight we run to freedom and the night and the song has always been ours. Yeah. Yeah. 
So no more auction block for me. That's right. No, no. The precious Lord, take my hand. Huh. But come by here, Lord. Come by here. Yes, God. And it's rolling in like a spirit riding a storm. Listen to the calm in your bones. Yes. Listen to the trees cry, and they do. Listen to all things that warn you to hold on and hold on to him and to her like this. Yes. Like sea ripping at land. Like night blanketing stars. Like shore spreading, pulling rivers through. Like east and west wind fighting to hold on to one another as they turn in wild tornado. Can you feel it like the shakes before an earthquake? Can you feel it like the itch in your palm when payday is near? Can you feel it rolling in like a spirit riding a storm? Yeah. Uh -huh. The tear, the anger, the funeral, the eulogy, the food, the cremation, the scatterings, the babies, the beloved, the bashed, the fight, the crack, the guns, the vigil, the march, the protest, the growth, the scream, the community, the voices, the prayer, the hold, the strength, the night, and you who have prayed to sun gods know that love is nothing if not ritual. And you who have held on to centuries know that survival is nothing new. And you who have gone inside one another know that it is deep enough to hide one another. Yeah. So tonight we gather and call the name son and daughter in the club and in the bar until it melts in the roof of our mouths. Gather together and call the name father and mother in the home and in the house until it melts like butter candy under our tongues. Gather together and call the name grandfather and grandmother in the kitchen and in the shed until it runs through thick like blood. Gather together and call the name uncle and aunt in the church and choir until it raises our voices to gospel. Yes. Gather together and call the name brother and sister in the park and in the street until it makes us visible in the living, the questions of the dead, can you see me? Can I get an amen? Yeah. This is so powerful here. Um, I'm sure we've all been through a lot of actions. This is one of the most impactful ones. Yeah. All right, how about that? So, cool. I just wanted to acknowledge the spirit that is here connecting us all. It's really, really powerful. And it's not out of anger, it's out of it's this love, which is one of the strongest things we have. <coughs> Wonderful. If you know this song, please sing along, okay? Oh, my Yes, they are by So down to the merchant sheep Many times they took out From the bottom of From my hand was made strong By the end of the Almighty We forward this generation Triumphantly, won't you help to sing these songs of freedom? Cause all I ever had mm -hmm. is ancient songs. It meant to pay yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds. Have no fear for atomic energy Cause none of them can stop the time How long shall they kill our prophets While we stand aside and look Some say it is just a part of it We've got to fulfill the book So won't you help to see these songs of freedom Cause all I ever had mm -hmm. 
Yes, that is one powerful young sister there. And the thing, seriously, I know her really well. I think of her as like my niece, I'm like her auntie. And the thing that I think about so much with her is that why she is so powerful at her 17 years old is because she leads with love. Yes. She puts it out there without a shield in front of her heart or anything like that. And she is one of the most powerful people I know. Thank you, Jada. Thank you, Marvin. Yes. Thank you to all of the people who yes. came here. Yeah, I'm not going to be going on the march, folks. My back is... Well you guys have no idea how many painkillers it takes for me to get out of here some days. Anyways. Oscar Grant Plaza symbolically to the lake, where we have a lot of capitalist gentrifiers who are trying to make that look real pretty for certain people, but not for all of us. So we're going to take these coffins representing people who have been murdered by police here in the Bay Area, and we will need at least three people per coffin, if not four, but minimum three pallbearers per coffin. And we need people to take these coffins as we follow Vanessa towards the streets in song and march our powerful, loving bodies towards the lake, where we'll assemble for a very short program at the lake. It's just going to involve paying respects and leaving the coffins well, there. I'm not going to be heading out for the march, folks. So it's wonderful, so, uh, amazing. Glad everybody that all. watched. And um, very soon, we're going to follow Vanessa out. One second here, pause, please. Yeah, I'm right here. I should have remembered that because it's my van. We have a van available for those of you who don't feel like you can or want to make that um, three-quarter so mile So thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Have a good weekend, and look for me tomorrow morning. Uh, Honda Odyssey will be this is Freeman right Sullivan, there, signing off.